Hey, what's going on everybody? For those of you that don't know me personally, my name is Spencer Thomas, and I currently own and operate Spencer's Animal Encounters, a wildlife education and outreach program currently servicing the Western New York and surrounding areas. I share my home with approximately 50 different exotic, domestic, and farm type animals, which I use in my programs. I take them to schools, nursing homes, churches, and different events and teach people everything from responsible pet ownership to wildlife conservation. I have a ton of animals, everything from armadillo to zebu, and I can't wait to share them all with you. So I have a ton of really cool animals that I really wanna show you and introduce to you. So to do that, I've created a series which I'm gonna call Spencer's Species Spotlight. I was gonna say Spencer's Species Specific Spotlight, but I thought that was a little much, going too hard on those alliterations. In this series, I'll introduce you to all of my amazing animal ambassadors and we'll get to learn about them both as a species and as individuals. The first animal up in my series is this cantaloupe. Just kidding, this is Puzzle and she's a three-banded armadillo. Now there are 20 species of armadillo, but only the genus Toilopoidus can curl up completely into a ball. There are two species that make up this genus the Brazilian three-banded armadillo, and the southern three-banded armadillo. Puzzle here is a southern three-banded armadillo. In the wild, armadillos, three-banded armadillos, can be found in Argentina, Paraguay, Bolivia, and Brazil. Puzzle, however, has never seen the wild, nor would she have the necessary skills to survive in the wild as she was born and raised in captivity. Three-banded armadillos are usually tannish or brownish in color and about 22 to 27 centimeters. They have thick armor plates covering their whole body made of keratin, the same thing that your hair and fingernails are made of. And although she's not being very cooperative about showing you right now, she also has these very large, powerful front claws which she uses to dig into termite mounds and rotting logs in search of insects, which is her main diet. Although they do possess these large, large, sharp front claws, they're not fossorial, meaning they don't go underground and live in burrows. Instead, they will occupy areas under bushes and fallen logs and even abandoned giant anteater dens. The three-banded armadillo has a long sticky tongue which it uses to lap up insects. However, in captivity, they will eat some fruit and vegetables as well as things like hard-boiled eggs.
So now that you guys know a little bit more about three banded armadillos, I just kind of want to tell you guys a little bit about Puzzle's backstory. So Puzzle came to me around three years ago from another educator in Arizona and sh her company was called Lisa's Creatures. Now Lisa had many different types of armadillos and at the time, um, Puzzle was more of a surplus animal. See, she had attempted to breed Puzzle with her male armadillo Spud, but it was ultimately unsuccessful. So Lisa very graciously donated Puzzle to my program because she knew how much I loved animals, how much I loved armadillos, and how much I really, really wanted to be able to have one so that I could use them as an educational animal. So, Puzzle flew on a plane from Arizona to Western New York, and she's been a member of my program ever since. Now, last year we did attempt to breed Puzzle with a friend's male armadillo named Armando, but it was ultimately unsuccessful. We are still looking for a male to pair her up with so that we may be able to have baby armadillos in the future. But until then, Puzzle will live by herself in a very large enclosure. And she's perfectly fine with that. So just want to recap everything that we talked about in this video today. There are 20 species of armadillo and two of them are called three-banded armadillos. Again, this is the Brazilian and the Southern. These species are the only ones that can curl up completely into a ball. Armadillos are covered in a hard armor plating made up of keratin, the same thing your hair and fingernails are made of. They have large front claws, which they use for digging and finding insects, but they do not create burrows to live in. Instead, they'll occupy burrows of giant anteaters and other animals. These guys are insectivores, meaning they primarily eat insects, although they will eat some bird eggs and some fruits, and in captivity, they do eat a little bit of produce, such as fruits and vegetables. Not much is known about armadillo reproduction. Um, however, three-banded armadillos are pregnant. Their gestation period goes um, for 120 days. And then usually a single pup is born after that. And it's dependent on its mother for 72 days. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to my very first video. I'm very, very excited for this channel. I have a lot of really cool ideas for new and creative videos and content that not a lot of people have done before. So make sure you stay tuned. If you like this video, please hit the like button for more videos about all of my cool animals. You can subscribe to my channel. I will hopefully be putting out videos at least once a week. Thanks guys.